Hello everybody, this is Bench85 and welcome back to another episode of Surviving Minecraft. And today, we need to do something... Not about the lightning, but we need to do something about food. Food is becoming an issue. I, um... Well, to give you an idea here... Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. Starve to death. Again. Ugh. As well as, um, I mastered my iron pickaxe. I got the master level, which means it's the top level you can get, and I got reinforced too. Uh, on top of that, I also leveled up my copper shovel. I was all ready to stick um, moss on it, and it turns out I got moss for the modifier that it gave me. Got another pumpkin. But, as far as food goes, what was I going to put in here? Oh, osmium. Getting a few ores. That didn't really help for sorting. But, what I'm resorting to is the fact that you can take the zombie flesh and you can mix it with two salt and you get zombie jerky, which will not make you sick. But doesn't exactly give you a whole lot back. But, you know, it's something. So, what do we want to do? Well, what I want to do, first of all, is I think I want to throw that much of that in there. Because I'm going to use bronze for other things as well. So, I'm basically just putting tin in with the copper, and we'll see how much bronze we get. Because I want to upgrade my pick. I want to be able to get it... I'm not sure how to get it to the next level, but... Oh, wow. Oh. Apparently we're going to need to throw in a little bit of copper. I did not realize we were going to get that much. That might be enough. So we got bronze on the bottom. So let's make ourselves a pickhead. Perfect. And let's see, we have an iron. So we might as well repair it. Oh. A little bit of a lag there. How does that not fully repair you? There's 12 left. All right, well, I'm going to hold on to it for a moment. I want to see what this does. Okay, I'm going to have to put a bunch of copper in there. You know what? Tack with it. I'm just going to throw in eight. A full eight. And uh, not a big deal. Perfect. So, when it comes to food, what do I need to do? Well, I need to make myself a Madoc. And you make yourself a mattock because hoes are not allowed in this. This is basically your hoe. You need a an axe head and a shovel head. So I have two pieces of flint here. Gonna make one of each like that. And where did it go? Mattock. Oh darn it. And one stick. Perfect. Hopefully, this will work. I would assume it will. Wow, that is getting a little bit ridiculous. Stop making so much noise. Not warmed up yet. And you are not far away. Come on, 691, 692. They said it has to be completely uh, fixed up, completely repaired in order for it to work. Oh, we're out of lava. That's why she's not heating anymore. Well, in that case, do I have any clay left? I 
do. I think... I think it's three pieces? Yeah. And... Sure, why not? We'll throw it in there. I've been slowly making more and more... living wood as well as living rock. Just as I go here. I think it's almost ready to sleep. Sweet. Six ninety four. So close. Uh bucket is done. So I'm gonna run and get some lava quick and I'll come back to upgrade our pick and we'll see if if it's already boosted or not or if I have to use it a little bit to get it boosted you know I was thinking to myself why did I make a clay, bu clay bucket when I have the iron now because this is gonna eat it no more clay bucket okay so my pick has finished repairing itself so let's upgrade it to Bronze. Ooh. Bronze adds in reinforced three. Or a third reinforced. And oh, we're just a few blocks short. Our durability has increased significantly. We went from 700 up to 800. Over 800. Nice. And we are 25 blocks away from our top mining, or from our next mining level. So close. Oh, there, we're perfect. 63 things, 63 ingots of bronze. Should be enough for a little while. Oh, it's getting faster, that's for sure. Now, I think we might be pretty darn close to getting to gold level. Oh, it's already repaired itself. See, with Reinforce 3, the uh, it does not take much as far as damage goes. So, I think... Oh, that's right. We need to start growing stuff. Food. That's what our key was. So, got barley seeds. Got regular seeds. Suppose we can put some sugar cane in down there. Could even put pumpkin in. So we've got to go across over here. This is where I want to put it. And we really need to put in a bridge there too. So let's use the Maddock. Should be able to get a lot our farmland in here. So, let's throw down some, some, some potatoes. And let's see, we got a whole bunch of barley seeds. and some regular seeds now I don't recall I don't think I set I think I changed the config because it used to be with hunger overhaul that you could not plant the same stuff right next to each other so I'm going to have to double check and make sure that that's not the case let's see that doesn't count as adjacent actually I want to put him over here One, two, three, and then I believe if I break them like this, you get more seeds. Okay. I did get something. Oh, I got a regular seed, and I think I've got a cotton seed. 
which I suppose I can throw in. Why not? Okay, we'll let that stuff grow. And let's see. Oh, I was going to show you guys something. So, <laughs> I got called cheaty in one of my comments, which I agree it partially was when I was trading in cobblestone for the other cobblestone. And then I realized something. Number one, we have... Let me grab something here. I need an iron ingot. So, we have two ways that I can change cobble from one to the other. Number one, if you put cobblestone in like this, you get compressed cobblestone from extra utilities. If I break them back out, I get regular cobblestone. Now what I'm curious about, can I mix cobblestone types? Yes. Okay, so I should be able to make an auto-processing system where I can cross it over. The other thing, if I put a stick and iron ingots angled, I get a chisel. Remember we're using this? A little bit different. If I put in cobbled slate, I will get 29 cobblestone. Oh, it does take damage now. Cool. So, I have the ability to change things over now. So, for those of you who like to pick on me for it, no more cheating because we have everything we need right now. So, I'm going to run out of food. Ah, so much food is needed in this. This this is making it interesting, I will tell you that much. So what did I... I wanted to cook up... I was going to cook up some more stone. So I wanted to make some more of the living wood. Actually, I'm going to make up a full... Or living stone, I should say. Just like that. And that should give me enough to take this guy to the next level. Yep, I only need 17. So what we really need to do, though, is start looking at machines. What are we going to need to start processing ore better? Because I want to be able to process ore. I'd like to be able to get a redstone furnace of some sort. So I think what we're going to be looking at is... Ender IO. This mod. Ender IO adds a lot of really cool things. But what we're going to be looking at mostly is a sag mill, which is right here. So, flint we can get a hold of, iron we can get a hold of. A piston is going to be tough because we need redstone. Um, but my pick can now take redstone. And then a machine chassis, which is mostly iron except for. The capacitor, which gives we, we can get copper, we can get redstone. The gold, though, I am not sure. I should be able to mine gold with an upgraded bronze pick. Um, I just got to go down and get it. The alloy smelter is basically the same deal. Uh, furnaces are easy to make. Cauldron is just iron, and we have a machine frame again. Not too bad. Now, for moving power around the energy conduit would be ideal. However, uh, let's see, we need conductive, which is just, oh, it's just in the alloy smelter, but we need power to run the alloy smelter. So we're going to have to find another way to move power around, which I know of a temporary way to do it. And for power gen, what we're going to start out with is using a survival survivalist generator. Rather simple to make, and it makes a crazy amount of efficient power however it does it very slowly so it's something where we'll have to set it up and let it run and like fill up um, a capacitor or something because uh, it's the only way that you're gonna get enough power built up and we can probably do it let's see with ender IO again the basic Let's see, that's a basic capacitor. Ok, 
creative. I think it should be this guy. Okay, so that's just basic capacitors. So yeah, we could definitely make one of those. And that'll hold a million RF. So I think that's going to be our best bet to start out with. 8 there, 16 here. We can make a lot of this. So, how soon will you change over? I didn't put a torch over there either because I'm pretty sure the config is set that it can only grow under sunlight. So, torchlight does not matter. Oh, mana pool. There we go. Get some of it to change over. And at some point down the road, we should be able to automate this. And there's a number of ways to do it, but I think I'm going to do it with Batania stuff. So we are nine blocks away. All right, the suspense, the suspense is killing me. So I think I'm going to mine out some of these places here. I kind of wanted to mine this out a little bit anyways. <sighs> Two more. Wait, no. One more. Here we go. Ding. So what is our mining level for sure now? Redstone. I thought we were already redstone. Well, now we can definitely get redstone. Which means I think we should be able to get gold as well. Oh, that's right. Mechanism salt should act the same way as regular salt, I think. Let's find out quick. Oh, no. Not you. He does no damage, but if he would have hit me, he would have teleported me somewhere random. I think it's time to sleep. So, let's see. Take one of these and it should be two salt. Yep, it works. Cool. So I have enough for three more. I don't know why I'm going to this crafting table because I only need a two by two grid. Okay, so we have some temporary food at least for now. That was not what I wanted to do. Getting too crazy with my pick. So, hopefully that stuff grows. And I think I need to s maybe head back down into that cave. But I need the food to do it. Oh, it's such a, such a struggle, I tell you. So, let me put some supplies together and I think we'll head back down into the mine as we figure out what our best bet is um, for setting up machines. See if we can get some redstone and some gold and we can start processing stuff that way. Yummy. Alright, so I'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, how's it going? I changed my mind. I grabbed some torches and I went into... I want to start caving down below. Unfortunately, where did she go? There was a witch down here. There she is. Oh, I don't know if she can get to me at the moment. Oh, crap. And a zombie. Take the zombie flesh. Oh, I hate poison. And of course, now I have slowness, mining fatigue, weakness, all that lovely stuff. Quick make a little bit of it. There we go, we're losing some of our effects as I gain back health. Did I mention I hate, absolutely hate witches? I want to get down below there. 
I need to get down below there because we got to get to a lower level. I'll take the salt though. And a little bit of copper. Just kind of, you know, collecting what resources I can. Oh, this is where the zombies probably came from. Okay, this might be a better way to go down. So I don't think there's a witch over here at the moment. Okay, that loops around. Yep, that's lit up. Oops. A bunch of ore bushes here, which is nice. Creeper there. No. I'll probably track his way around by us somewhere. Some point. There he is. I want to get the zombie. I hear a ske oh, skeleton too. Bingo. That wasn't so bad. No. Not allowed. There's so much cave here. This place is ridiculous. That goes down. Don't like the sound of that. That is probably something from Mo Creatures. Which terrifies me. There's lava up there. Oh, there's a wraith here. That's right. That had me uh, scared for a little bit. But we gotta get down below here. There's a water pool. I hear footsteps. I think they're all, I can't tell if they're down below me. Well, there's a zombie. Oh, there's a skeleton right there. There's a creeper over there, too. Here comes the zombie hordes. Well, that's one way to clear a room. Yeah, he's right there. And I don't have a way cut out to get down there. I gotta be smart about this. Because I need an escape if things don't go well. Shoot. There we go. I think I need one more block in there. I don't know where the skeleton went though. Okay, so we got a way back up now. No. No. There's a skeleton. Ooh, another one. Okay, we gotta get some light in here so we don't get zombie spawns. There's some lapis. Nice. We are at Y level 27. So we're getting close to redstone level. Ooh, you get a bow. I'll take a bow. Ooh, experience. Experience bushes. I can use them. That's tin. Got the zombies in here. No. 
No. Take a zombie head. I will always take that. Okay, we're getting down further. That's copper. Y level 19. This should be just about... I mean, I should be finding redstone in here. I don't want it to go back up. All I want to do is find you guys some redstone and maybe some gold. I want to know if this pick will handle it. There's a zombie. He came from that direction. Let's head down this one. This goes deeper. I think there's a lava pit up here. Oh, this is a, a ravine. Ooh, shale. And basalt. Ooh, I like those kind of rocks. There's some redstone. Nice, we finally found some redstone. So, let's test this out. Oh yeah. I will gladly take you, redstone. Ooh, 37 of it already. I don't think this pick has any fortune on it, though. So what about this? So I can harvest lead. That's a big deal. For uh, anything with thermal expansion. I don't like how dark this is. The basalt is so dark. And I'm running out of food again. Of course I am. Is there any gold in here? I think there's lava right below me here somewhere. It certainly looks like there should be. It's lit up kind of funny. Some lava down here. I see iron. Should be able to get diamonds too. I won't fall. More lava down here. Some more redstone right there. Oh, oh. No need to get crazy here. Gladly take redstone. <gasps> There's some diamond right there. Okay, be careful now. If I don't decide to drop myself in the lava or something. Looks like it could be a decent little amount too. Need to be able to protect the protect the diamonds. I wish I could get that Leolorium too. Okay, there's no lava below it. Which is good. I don't trust this right here. I don't like the dirt there either. <laughs> yep, definitely can get diamonds. Nice, five of them. I will take it. Now the question is, can I find some gold? That's what I really need right now. If we get some gold, I can build my machines in the next episode. Which is what I'm looking to get. Because I need that for ore processing. Oh, well that was... That was quite the little run there. How can there not be any gold down here at this level? Let's go back to the ravine quick. Oh, right here's some. I missed it. And it is harvestable. Well, perfect. We are all set then. Well, I'm pretty sure based on time, I'm probably pretty close to being done with this episode. 
there's been a lot of mining going on. But I think next episode we're going to get some building figured out. Uh, is the, yeah, the gold's got another... Even the lead's got a designation on it. Oh, this is 15 4 now. I wonder if there's a way to trick it. I'm not sure. But either way, we're going to get some building done next episode. We're going to get some machines built. I totally missed that piece of lead there. I'm glad it didn't, re didn't despawn. And uh, we're going to have some fun advancing a little bit further. Hopefully I get some food production too because we need to do some more food stuff. We need to set up some sort of a farm. Ooh, Gabro. There's so many nice rocks. It's almost like terra firma craft. You know, what do you want to build with? That's tin. I was wondering if I could find some silver, if I'm capable of mining silver out. Ooh, some more gold. I'm gonna have to grab that. What's down here? Oh, ferris. Yes. Yes, please. Also for thermal expansion, which we will be utilizing. Experience bushes. Nice. So that guy's... Oh, I'm getting slow. A little bit of food. Oh boy. No. That's right. Fear my hatchet. So with that guys, I'm gonna finish up the episode here. I said I'm gonna do a little bit more mining, although I think I found a lot of what I need. So I'll probably be heading up soon, so there won't be some you know, too much spectacular things that might happen if I'm headed back out, but we're definitely gonna have to clean this stuff out. Because there's so many resources here. This is just crazy. And to find ourselves an underground ravine like this was very lucky. So that guys, thanks for watching. And as always, take it easy.